Hi, I'm Bonnie McLeod and I'm a student here at Evergreen in Environmental Analysis. Um, this is my third year here and I'll be graduating in winter quarter. I was in banking for almost 20 years. I started as a teller um, when I was just about a teenager and I was working for Washington Mutual in their loan policy department when they were closed by the government in 2008. So I decided to go back to school at that time. Evergreen is not so regimented. You have the opportunity to make your own path of, of education. You don't have a set number of classes and specific classes that you have to take and everyone doesn't sit in rows, you know. And it, it's, it's just much more free to do what you want to do and you can get so much more out of it that way if you apply yourself. It almost feels like students and the instructors learn from each other a little bit. Um, the students will start in a direction and the instructors will actually take that idea up and, and pursue it. If, if a majority or a, a number of students are interested in something, the instructors will look into how they can you know, follow that interest and teach more about it. For several years, I've been really interested in what is in in the environment, in soil and water, especially in water. Um, hydrology is interesting to me and we're covering that a little bit and just how everything interrelates and how small things can affect the environment immensely. The last two years I've been really lucky to be a recipient of the National Science Foundation STEM scholarship for um, sciences and this one is specifically for biology and chemistry which are two of the main things that I'm interested in. In addition to the financial support which is which is wonderful, lifesaver, they also have seminars where they help you with career and resumes, um, yeah, career paths and just support like emotional and educational support also. I just recently moved away from the idea of working at a government laboratory. Um, one of the possibilities I'm looking at is working at Yellowstone, which we visited briefly last fall. Um, I just loved it there so much and I got to talk to a few of the park employees. There's opportunities to like look at geysers and how they change over time and you know, wildlife. There's just there's so many things I'm not really sure right now. I guess I'm just going to look for the next little push in what direction it takes me. 